This video is all about angles and measuring them. To start with, let's just have a look at defining what an angle actually is. An angle is a measurement of the amount of rotation, so we can see that there, the amount of rotation that's formed when we have two rays that share a common endpoint. So in the little graphic here, we've got an endpoint here and two rays. Ray one is this line and ray two is this line. And the amount of rotation, if you could imagine moving, well, from ray two up to ray one, you can see the little arrow here, it sweeps out a piece of space or what we would call an angle. So the amount of that rotation is the angle. There's two common ways to reference our angle measurements and those are degrees, which you're probably most familiar with, and also radians, which you may have heard of as well. The amount of rotation around a full circle is usually defined to be 360 degrees, which we denote by writing it like this with this little circle symbol, meaning the degree symbol. We measure all other angles as a fraction of such a rotation. When we have an arc, that's a, a portion of a circle's edge, uh, which has the same length as the radius of the circle, the angle that's formed by that arc is called one radian. So for example, if we take a look at the black circle here, the two rays, the horizontal ray and this angled ray, we imagine the angle that's swept out there sweeps out an arc on the circle exactly the same length as either of these radii. Now that angle there, we define that to be one radian. Now it doesn't matter the size of the circle, as long as the, the arc that you're sweeping over is the same length as the radii, then that angle that's formed is called one radian. Now it turns out that if you put a few of these together all the way around, you don't end up with a perfect whole number of radians around a circle, whereas with degrees we had 360 degrees in a full circle rotation. The number of radians isn't a nice neat number like that. We can actually figure out how many radians there are around that circle by looking at a relationship between radians and degrees. So let's look at a couple of facts that we already know. We've heard in the past that a full circle measures 360 degrees. We also know a formula for the circumference of a circle. Now remember that the circumference, that's the length all the way around the edge of the circle. In other words, an arc that actually is the whole circle. So the circumference equation says that C, the circumference is equal to two pi multiplied by R, the radius. So in other words, there's two pi, which is about 6.3, two pi lengths of the radius around the circle's edge. Well, remember that one radian is just a single radius length around the curve. So if we have two pi radius lengths around the curve, then that means that a full circle rotation must be made up of two pi radians of sweep around. So we've now got a relationship between the radian and the degree measurement. We can say that two pi radians is the same as 360 degrees. You might also see that, or sometimes we'd say more commonly, I'm not sure if that's true, but we might also see it as pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So we can use that relationship to give us formulae, if you like, for converting between radian measure and degree measure and back again. So for example, given that we have an angle of x radians, we can convert that to degrees using this formula here. The angle in degrees is equal to 180 degrees times x divided by pi, because there's 180 degrees per pi radians. In reverse, if we have an angle of x degrees and we want to convert to radians, we can use the opposite formula, which says the angle in radians is equal to x degrees multiplied by pi divided by 180 degrees. So that gives us our angle measure in radians. Here's a couple of examples. We want to convert the following angle measurements in degrees into radian form. Give yourself a couple of moments now to try these out using the formulae from the previous slide. Okay, so in the first example, we're asked to convert 150 degrees to radians. I'm going to refer to 150 degrees as the angle theta. So you can see here I have the Greek letter theta. Then I can say 
then in radians, theta is equal to, and I use the second formula, that the angle measurement in radians is x degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees. So we have 150 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees. You could go ahead and figure this out on your calculator and get a big long decimal that goes on forever, but normally we tend to write these things in terms of fractional amounts of pi. So in this case I can simplify 150 on 180 to 5 on 6, so I have 5 pi on 6 radians. We can do a similar thing for part b. I'm going to say, this time I'll use a different Greek letter, I'll call it phi. Phi is 70 degrees. Then in radians, phi is equal to 70 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees, or 7 pi on 18 radians. Again, leaving it in the fractional form multiplied by pi. Well, here's the opposite example. Again, maybe stop the video and give yourself a couple of minutes to try these out before coming back and following through with me. But we're asked to convert the angle measurements in radians into angle measurements in degrees. Okay, so if I let theta equal pi on four radians, then in degrees, theta is going to be equal to, jumping back to our first formula here, it's going to be 180 degrees times the measurement in radians divided by pi. So 180 degrees multiplied by pi on 4 divided by pi. The pi's will cancel and I'll be left with 180 on 4 which is 45 and we've got degrees now. Okay so same thing again for part b if I let this time I'll call it phi 5 pi on 3, then in degrees, phi will be equal to 180 multiplied by 5 pi on 3, divided by pi. Again, the pi's will cancel. 180 on 3 will leave me 60. 60 times 5 is 300. So we have 300 degrees. Okay, so there we are. In this video, we have introduced the concept of an angle defined in terms of the amount of uh, space or the measurement of the, the sweep of two rays between two rays uh, with a common endpoint. We've seen two ways to measure angles using degrees or radians and finally carried out conversions between those two units of angular measurement.